today we are taking your questions, questions that you've written in to our relationship expert, Donnie Van Curen, who joins us now. And we got some really good questions today. We want to start with the first one. I'm going to read it. This it's is a from good one Amy too. from Oklahoma City. It is. Does it ever really work to stay friends with an ex? She asks. Guys I've dated do, and it's always caused problems in my relationship. Right. I, I think you can. I mean, it, it depends on the emotions of the two after you've broken up. Mm -hmm. uh, if the emotions are good, if you've got that good relationship, if there's some clear boundaries, I think you can. But if one is in a different place than the other, it can be really challenging. You've been friends with ex Yeah, before. I said this before. <laughs> I, I am currently friends with a couple of yeah. my, my ex-boyfriends because there's no feelings there yeah. anymore. So that's um, important. Whether I Huge. should be friends with them, I know that yeah. that's probably an issue that I've dealt with. So. Well, and Amy mentions that uh, she's seen, uh, I think she says, guys do that. I think it is easier sometimes with guys to stay friends with their ex and and girls I think it isn't. Mm -hmm. And I don't I Have can't tell you exactly why but there is an emotional connection, connection sometimes and yeah. I think it's a little more challenging. But if both are at a better place mm -hmm. and and can move on and feel good about it, I, I don't see why not. That's the okay. whole thing. Yeah. Bottom absolutely. line. Yeah. Bottom it's line okay. it's okay. Okay, here's another one. Deidre writes in from Oklahoma City saying my boyfriend and I have been together for 3 years. I hate when he looks at other women. She says he doesn't flirt with other girls very much, but I just feel like he's always looking. What should I do? Yikes. Well, the first thing I want Amy to, or Debbie to do is just talk to him. Communicate that, hey, this is a problem for me and this mm -hmm. is how I'm feeling. Try mm -hmm. not to be aggressive. Try not to just attack him, but say this makes me feel a certain way. Um, many times guys have a problem looking. It's it's more of a visual yes, thing than they anything. Do. <laughs> um, but guys need to hear that that's a problem for you. He needs to hear that this makes you feel insecure or not loved and, and pick the right time to communicate with him. Sometimes Sometimes if you communicate at a time when there's conflict or you just walked in the door, it doesn't work very well. Mm -hmm. So tell him how you feel, let him know how it makes you feel, and uh, try, to, try to be sensitive about the fact that that may be something he's unaware of. Yes. They're so aware, unaware of so many things. Yes, you exactly guys are just right. like, if you don't tell them, they're just not going to pick up on it. We just, we're, we've got lots of problems. Help me out Talk here. about it. Talk okay. about it. This last question comes from a viewer who wants to remain anonymous, but he wants to know, he says, quote, I work full time. My wife stays home with our kids. I get home after a long day and there's still a lot to do. Cleaning, making dinner. I really want to say something, but I'm sure it will hurt her feelings. What do I do? How do you even start with that? Right, Good right. question right here. You know, the first thing I would say is you do need to communicate it back to, to what we talked about with the earlier viewer. Uh, but pick a time that you can sit down and talk to her about how you're feeling. And I would start by making sure you list the things she's doing that you appreciate. Yes. Say, listen, I, I, you're doing this, you're doing this, and I love it. Make sure you affirm her. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, let her know that these things here uh, trouble you, um, that they're not done and, and cause conflict for you. Make sure you're willing to help. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're willing to do mm -hmm. your part, <laughs> as opposed to just say, hey, I would like you, you to do you. all this stuff. Make sure you work together, because yeah. some of these problems, if, if you could do them together and say, this is a problem, so how do I help you, and, and how can you help me, uh, to do it as a team. But uh, the biggest thing I would say is start with a positive, mm -hmm. and then mention the things that, that are bothering you, and then be willing to share those. Be willing to work together. And make sure it's Tone a conversation like, and not like a, you know, you don't do this. Right, because you don't Tone. want her to get defensive. Well, Tone, Tone is huge. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you're going to talk to your wife about the things she's not doing, start positive. Positive, have the right tone and communicate the, at the right time. Offer yeah. to help too. I like that. I like <laughs> that. To help. Good conversation <laughs> today, Donnie. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's good. Those are good viewers. Donnie, thanks so much for yeah. joining us. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. And if you do have a question for Donnie, we'll answer them right here on Newsnight at four o'clock. Send it over to askdonnie at newsnight.net.